Hi everybody, this is Lane at Liberty. When we optimize factory treatments, aiming to produce oil and gas more economically, we often use models to help understand how fracture dimensions change as a result of design changes we may suggest. These models need to be tied to reality. In our jargon, they need to be calibrated. One anchor point for models is to tie them to a measurement of net pressure inside a fracture. In this video, I will show you how we calibrate a model for a very simplistic case of a fracture, where only the fracture width changes as we change the pressure in the fracture. And that fracture will look very similar to this wheelbarrow wheel as we inflate it, and only the width of this wheel will change as we do so. We will start with a definition and then get into our home frack lab experiment. Have fun. The definition of net pressure is simply the difference of pressure inside the fracture minus the closure stress. In this example, the closure stress, or the least horizontal stress, is 8000 psi in a typical shale at a depth of 10,000 feet. If we measure the pressure inside the main body of the fracture to be 9000 psi, the net pressure equals the difference between these two, or 1000 psi. Now I will illustrate the concept of net pressure with this simple experiment that you can do at home. I raised one wheel of my truck with a regular jack. Now make sure when you do this at home that you put your truck on the brake. I built my own flat jack at home using this wheelbarrow tire that I can use to raise the truck wheel as I inflate it with pressure using this bike pump. And I can measure the pressure in this bike pump or in, in the wheelbarrow wheel using this, uh, this digital gauge. I build a wooden structure around the wheelbarrow wheel to protect the wheel itself and the valve inside of it. Now also make sure that you center the wheel of your truck, you know, right above, um, right above that wheelbarrow wheel. Now let's inflate the wheelbarrow wheel or the flat jack with some pressure and see what happens. Initially, I increased the pressure in the flat jack or fracture, but opening remains zero. Once the flat jack pressure exceeds about 12 psi, increases in pressure result in opening as the flat jack carries part of the weight of the truck. This threshold is equivalent to the closure stress we measure in the field in a diagnostic fluid injection test, or DFID. Note that from the closure pick, we can infer that about 800 pounds of truck weight rests on this wheel. Now we subtract the closure stress from the flat jack pressure and create a net pressure plot in the graph below. We see that opening and net pressure are directly proportional to each other. Using this calibration information, now all I have to do is measure the net pressure and use the relationship to predict opening or fracture width. In summary, net pressure provides a key anchor point for the calibration of fracture models. While the reality of downhaul fracture growth is much more complex than the simple model, net pressure does provide an important link to the created fracture width. Other fracture diagnostics can provide additional calibration data on fracture length, height, and complexity, allowing us to develop more reliable fracture models to help with the evaluation of design choices for economic optimization. This was Lane at Liberty. For more information, please visit us at libertyfrag.com. Thank you for watching.